Hmm. Human is detected. Put it down. I'll take it from there. What? How do you know I'm here? Okay. Is the new SwitchBot outdoor cam a decent piece of tech or it is just another cam that you can freely skip? No doubt about it, this cam is providing a layer of security and convenience, but there are also some setbacks that I would like to share. One of the most important aspects of this cam is its easy installation, but that also means that someone can steal it from you as easily. So you either have to install it somewhere hard to reach or you just have to trust the people around you. But then, why would you add a camera in the first place? The SwitchBot outdoor cam have 10,000 milliamps built-in battery, that means nothing to me. But I checked the manual and that actually equals to a standby time of up to 90 days, which is not bad at all. Optionally, if you buy it, the device can come with a solar panel as a combo. Of course, the solar panel will help you monitor your environment 24 by 7 without the need of recharge. That is true, of course, unless you are living somewhere where no sun is shining. The solar panel provides a 3 watts maximum charging output, which is something that I don't care about, as again, it means almost nothing to me. But it made me to dig a bit deeper and I found out that this charging power is enough to get the SwitchBot outdoor cam working in standby for a period of up to one week after just one hour under the sun connected to the solar panel. If my calculations are correct, that means you get fully charged cam for around 12 hours of good sunshine. Afterwards, you can put the cam in the Batman's cave for 90 days, which is something that Batman might appreciate, or maybe not. Let me know what do you think about this serious matter in the comments. And here is something that I can take part of as I'm more familiar with it. The SwitchBot Outdoor Spotlight Cam comes with 1080p high definition, which is not as impressive as 4K, but I bet that 99% of you, and that includes me, cannot tell the difference and we cannot tell which video is 1080p and which is 4K. I also want to share that I have seen 4K cameras that are awful and I really doubt that they are true 4K. Good thing here is that at least that 1080p seems legit in the SwitchBot outdoor cam. On top, you can use that camera as motion sensor without any additional efforts. And that is because this SwitchBot cam have a built-in AI algorithm that can recognize movement caused by humans and pets, which is kind of nice for home automations. Using preset zones for movement detection is possible and you can get instant alarms straight to your phone when there is a detected event. By the way, if some of the terms that I'm using are not so clear for you, feel free to download my smart home glossary that is full of simple but useful explanations of the most common smart home words and acronyms. The link is on your screen as well as in the video description. There is a two-way audio in the SwitchBot outdoor cam that allows you to communicate with your delivery guy, for example, in real time. Get out! Get out! The 100 dB speaker also makes your voice audible, loud and clear. Next, the device supports up to 256 GB SD storage and with this you can record up to 50 hours of video. Encrypted cloud storage is also available and can be utilized as a backup when SD card video gets lost. Also, if Wi-Fi is down for some reason, the camera can record the footage on the local storage. The used image compression codec is H265, which should take much less storage compared to the older H264 that is commonly used. What I shared until now was mainly good things with just a few hiccups, but the primary setback that keeps me awake during the night is the lack of RTSP support. That means that you cannot add the SwitchBot camera in Blue Iris software or in Home Assistant for example, which is kind of shame for such not bad at all product. I truly hope that SwitchBot will enable this feature sometime soon, as I heard before that this is going to happen someday or night. And when we talk about nights, the outdoor cam is equipped with a night vision of 850 nanometers LED infrared and an LED spotlight, which as you might guess it, means nothing to me. 
but at least I can show you some images straight from the camera on a low light and with no light during the night. Of course, there are some street lights aside that I cannot turn off with Home Assistant yet. If you are a camera geek, you might be interested about the diagonal field of view which is 126 degree, the horizontal field of view is 110, and the vertical field of view is 53 degrees. The camera rating is IP55 because it is an outdoor cam, which doesn't mean you cannot mount it indoors. There is a Bluetooth support, to be precise, Bluetooth Low Energy 4.2, but I'm not sure for what the Bluetooth is used here. I guess it is for faster initial pairing of the device. Speaking of pairing, the process is like walk in the park, you need the SwitchBot mobile app that is available for free in all major phone manufacturer's stores, then you have to follow the instructions that the app provides and you will be ready in no time. Inside the app there are a lot of settings, but the ones that are worth mentioning are the following. Edit detection zones, human and pet detection. The outdoor cam could be later integrated with third parties such as Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. But overall, the feature that I like the most is the potentially endless and charge-free usage if you choose the solar panel combo. If you decide to buy the cam or the solar panel or both, please use the affiliate links in the video description. That way, I will get a small commission from your purchases with no additional cost for you. I'll also share there some discount coupons if I happen to have some. Anyways, what's your opinion? Is this device hot or not from your point of view? Share your answers in the comments. Thanks for watching, I'm Kiryu and I'll see you next time. Bye!